Hey guys, today we will be looking at Xtree Albion Prelude, and I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on what all the um, information panels mean in regards to your weapons. So as you can see here, we're currently looking at a high energy plasma drawer that's installed in Bay 1 of my Mamba. Now as you can see here, you can see an energy icon, two beam icons, a green icon with 1.5k, a blue icon with 9.4k, and two opposing arrows at 2.31 kilometers. Now, basically, I'm going to explain to you what all these mean. The two laser shots here represent how many shots are fired per second. This indicates two are fired per second. Here, you have the energy bar. This indicates that basically the weapon draws from your energy supply. Now your energy supply is located in your ship information panel and basically you have two types of weapons. You have weapons that have their own ammunition which don't drain from it and you have weapons which do drain from it. So this one drains from the energy supply and could possibly run out once the energy goes down, but it'll build back up and you can use it again, as opposed to ammo post weapons that once the ammunition runs out, you can't use anymore. Now, next we have the green icon with 1.5k. Now the green icon indicates how much damage it does to a ship's hull once the shields are down. Now this does 1.5k damage. Next over, we've got a blue icon, 9.4k. Now the blue icon indicates how much shield damage this weapon does, which is 9.4k, which is quite considerable when you think about it. So, with that there, you then have the two opposing arrows. Now, this basically means the range of the weapon. So this weapon has a 2.31 kilometer range. So, there you can see, that is basically what your weapons are capable of. This displays the information. Now, as you can see down here, we've got an impulse ray emitter, which is a very light weapon with completely different stats. So it fires three shots per second. It's got the energy bar, which means it draws from the energy. You have 140 hull damage, which is pretty measly. You have 1.4 um, damage for shields, and you also have the opposing arrows 1.39 kilometers. So it's a very weak weapon, but it's a very useful weapon for, say, dealing with drones, etc. So, with that in mind, that's pretty much it.